fever or cold or go to the doctor, that's where we use the thermometer. Today, we're going to discuss the two um, most common types of thermometers. A mercury thermometer and a, di and a digital thermometer. A mercury thermometer has a mercury at the bottom of it, just like it's now the part of the fat of mercury, just in case you're wondering. It's a liquid called the mercury. And when and when a uh, body temperature goes into it, it expands. And the liquid goes down, I mean, goes up a narrow tube. That's how the mercury therm thermometer works. The digital thermometer uses advanced technology. And it is safer, more accurate, and faster. So that's why most people have a digital thermometer. We use this thermometer to check our temperature if we have fever or not. And now we're going to make our very own thermometer. The things we need for this is a felt tip pen, a straw, some food coloring, we're going to use red, a bottle filled to almost the top with water, some marbled clay, and a pipe tea, and some oil. The first step is to um, pour, I mean, is to put some red food coloring into this bottle. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. If you just open it. Into the straws. Yeah, you can do that. Now we have to add a drop of oil at the top, and don't worry about them getting the water and oil getting mixed. Oil is immiscible with water. Okay, we're just gonna put it here. And we have to put the drop of oil in so that the water doesn't evaporate. And the first few times I tried it, I didn't get the expected result. And I found out that's because this seal is not airtight and, it, and like the water was leaking. So I replaced my old straw um, with a new straw and it worked better. <laughs> Now you might be wondering, what's the explanation for all this? Well, when the water got hot, the water molecules moved around very quickly, causing the water to go up. But when the water got cold, the water molecules moved slowly, which caused the water to drop down. This is an extra step to take it further. Because the thermometer we've made only shows if the temperature is hot or cold. It doesn't show accurate readings. So using this, we can mark the temperature and you can make a scale to see um, how, like what temperature it is each day. And you can write it down somewhere to keep track of the temperature. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel. Bye. Bye.